What is going on, everybody? It is Black Tiger here with some mobile gaming news. Now, just a few days ago, they just announced, officially announced, that Call of Duty Warzone is coming out with mobile. Now, we all know that Call of Duty mobile has been out for about three years now. The original, and it has the Battle Royale, and it has the multiplayer mode, which is more like the arena shooter, just like the classic Call of Duty. Now, Warzone is strictly a battle royale game that you know that is on your console and your pc but they're coming out with it on mobile now this is breaking news because the reason why i say it's breaking news is you can see right here on the page of the call of duty page it is official and this is the official site of call of duty and they are announcing join us built the call of duty wars on mobile now this leads to the question why is every game going to mobile because there is more money in mobile than console and PC, believe it or not. Now, anybody else say, no, there's not. Now, just think about it like this. You download a game for free on your mobile device, and it's free. But guess what? It's free. But there's certain things that you want to get. Battle Pass, $20 for three months. Certain skins and guns. Maybe drop a little five here and there. Now, let's say $5 ain't nothing, but let's say a million people drop five dollars just like that that's five million dollars that's why all these games have made a lot of money even some of the lower tier games that are knockoff games like free fire uh, uh rules of survival some of these other knockoff uh battle royale type games and shooters have made a lot of money as well because they became popular it started off as a no name and it became a name and obviously they got their creative ideas from a name uh, a big time name like Call of Duty or Fortnite or or so on and so on. Now I would go to the Tap Tap page. Now this is official, and this is where I originally saw that on the Tap Tap page. I went there just every now and then I go on my Tap Tap just to see what's coming out because most games come out in China or in Asia on Tap Tap before it comes into the Google Play Store or the official iOS store. Now, as you can see at the very top, the very top pre-registered on top t tap tap is Call of Duty Warzone. That was awfully quick. Now, going down the list behind is Apex Legends. As we know, that's going to be a very big mobile game as well. I believe it's probably going to be the biggest this year, whatever it finally releases. But if Call of Duty Warzone comes out the same year as Apex Mobile, there's going to be some competition there in between, which is going to be the best mobile battle royale game out. But there's also a couple other games coming out. T T3 Arena. It's a it's one of those no name games we're talking about. That set it says early access of March 17. So we'll get a chance to see what that is. And also Valorant Mobile. Valorant is also a PC game that's going to come out of mobile as well with Battlefield, which is a with which is a console PC game that's going to come out of mobile. And also Division. So there is a lot of big games. And then I saw as of recently, Rogue Company was asking for uh they were asking for game testers to sign up the other day to try to game test rogue company which is this is on pc and you can get that out of your epic store which is kind of crazy so right now but what this is is the call of, is the fact that call of duty mobile warzone mobile is good not call of duty mobile call of duty warzone mobile because it's strictly focused on warzone which is the Battle Royale game is pretty popular at this point. At the beginning of COD Mobile, the Battle, Roy Battle Royale wasn't as popular, but there was people playing it because it's a Battle Royale. Battle Royale's kind of one of the highest genres out, and it got better. As years go by, a lot more people are playing the, the Battle Royale mode in Call of Duty compared to the multiplayer mode now some of the bigger names the bigger content creators are still playing the multiplayer but there's a low lot of people playing the battle royale so that just makes me think that when cod mobile is going to be out the battle royale mode is going to fall completely down to the bottom because i believe that call of duty warzone mobile is going to be the biggest battle royale game on mobile and apex legends mobile obviously but that's going to be the next these are the next two tiers of battle royale mobile but and then you want to see the arena shooters of t3 arena valorant and then you got the not you also got road company mobile as we already talked about and then there is the hyper front and some of these other games that were pretty much on the knockoff list 
And then, you know, you got a big name like Diablo Immortals, which never came out, which is supposed to come out a while back. So, but going back to the Call of Duty Warzone, the probably, to my opinion, and I will be checking it out, definitely. I might even become a full-time player. It just, it just depends. It depends what direction they go with this game. Uh, can I, I, I don't think I'm going to try Apex Legends. I just don't think that I'm going to be good at Apex Legends. There are so many things you have to master in that game. All of the abilities. There's so much you have to master. In it. And all the big time streamers and content creators and people who are playing it early, they're getting their first hands on it. They get first dibs on it. And these people are going to get really good at the game. And it's going to be hard to be good. And it's also a game where you have to play with three people. I, I, I really would like to have some solo range. T team sport is fine, but sometimes um, going solo is probably a greater way to go for certain type of players because I feel like there's so much teaming up on people, but well, it's part of the game, right? And I'm definitely going to do squads. I mean, don't get me wrong, but, uh, but yeah. So I'm a little bit excited about the Call of Duty Warzone mobile for the mobile genre. genre. Mobile genre because I have not been really deep diving and playing a whole lot of uh, battle royale on mobile as of late. But with these two games particularly coming out, you're going to see probably me or the more. The one I thought was going to be pretty good was the uh, the PUBG New State. It's not that good, and also the Final Fantasy First Soldier. It they they need to speed that game up. It had it had a, it had its potential. The Final Fantasy First Soldier, it is slow pace. It is so slow pace, and and same with Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, uh, PUBG New State. Slow pace. You got to speed it up, and I think these two right here are gonna be fast pace. Make it more exciting. Things happening, and uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share that news. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning in.